I am Clarice Warner. I am the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. Good morning, morning, everybody. My name is Jesse. Jesse. I live live in Philadelphia. I've been in LPN for a good good number of years. I switched over into medical coding coding in 2014. And during the pandemic, I created the Coding Nurse LLC, where I help other nurses and other people with clinical uh, healthcare experience um, transition into the world of HIM. Today, for those who are joining us, we're going to talk a little bit, or I'll do a little quick debrief, I guess, if you will, on AHIMA 22. Let's get to some business. The big drop that I had heard at that made me like stop, like what is that AHIMA is going to virtual proctoring. They're going to start virtual proctoring of all of their examinations. There will be no more testing centers. They have already piloted this for the last several months and they didn't give a a date date, but I believe that it will be rolling out the first of the year. So that was really, really interesting. A lot of people, you know, clapped and was excited about that. And I thought about, you know, there are only so many testing centers available. And so sometimes people have to drive far, depending on where they live, they have to drive a far distance to get to those testing centers in order to take those tests. So the virtual proctoring um, may be a, 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 a godsend for them. The other side of me, and I'll let you chime in on this, thinks about some of the things we've heard as it relates to virtual proctoring from the AAPC (laughs) and some of those um, experiences. And um, I'm not certain that they didn't release the vendor or I hadn't heard anything about who the vendor is um, for them, but um, hopefully they've ironed out any kinks because we all know, you know, there are kinks that happen. Look at our show. (laughs) We all know there are kinks that happen, but hopefully they've ironed out those kinks. And I'm thinking because I'm thinking the technology used kind of with monitoring the work from home folks, maybe there's some type of monitoring or some type of technology that could be used with that. I know the AAPC had a situation where you had to have like multiple cameras so they can see behind you, see in front of you, see all kinds of things. I don't know what AHIMA has put in place for that, but hopefully it's a little simpler. (laughs) You don't have to. And and one of the things that people were talking about, I know from the AAPC perspective was the additional cost that they had to to fork out because they had to go purchase like the cameras for the back and, and you would have the, I I don't even think you can use your, your camera on the computer. You actually had to have like a, a standalone camera, you know, where you had to put it somewhere so they can see the whole desktop. So don't know any details, but I thought that was, that was huge. Did you want to weigh in? I think that it's interesting. I think that, you know, they want to remain competitive Because if you have another certification vendor or or credentialing vendor where people can test from home, it's just common sense that you would at least offer that. But I'm just curious. So they're not going to have any more testing centers at all because I'm just thinking there are a lot of places where internet reception is really not that great in this country. And if you don't have a certain speed, that's going to definitely cause a lag or some kind of you know, cut off of your, of your test, you might have to restart. So, I mean, I'm sure they've done their homework and I think I'm sure they have identified any kind of areas of opportunity that they have to um, work out beforehand, but it'll, it'll just be interesting to see. You're absolutely right. And that is something to, to consider because we know in rural areas, they don't, well, not in some urban areas, forget rural areas. You, you, I know sometimes you ride riding down the street and all of a sudden everything drops. There's like pockets where, where service drops. So yeah, hopefully they'll figure that out. Again, they haven't rolled out any specifics. They just let us know. It was kind of like the peak to the future, <laughs> if you will, letting us know that that's coming down the pike. Thank you all for joining us. And remember, be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it work for it. Until next time, take care.